so good morning my dear students so today we are going to start the new chapter that is quadratic equations so after doing the complex number after knowing the deep learning about the complex number we are coming to the quadratic equations so i hope you shall not require any of the introduction for this chapter because this is already being touched in the 10th class it is very known chapter uh, to us as we have seen the quadratic equations in the 10th class regarding its property regarding the question word problems and algebraic sums but still let us recall some of the important things which we need to remember in this chapter so the very first thing comes what is the form of quadratic equation so we already know the form of quadratic equation is ax plus b uh, ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where the important condition a shall not be equal to 0 if it does then it won't be a quadratic equation okay for uh, let us talk about the degree this is the second degree equation because uh, the highest power in the equation is 2 so this is the second degree equation thirdly how many roots we used to get we get two roots from the quadratic equation okay this is the second point now what is the third point there are three constants a b c and one variable that is x now understand there can be a quadratic equation of two variables as well all right that is we call it as a biquadratic equation the biquadratic equation you can understand in some other way also it can be so uh, this is the biquadratic equation i'm talking about x square the whole square plus 2 x square plus 1 equal to 0 this is called the biquadratic equation where you have the power 4 so from here you will get the 4 root of x okay so i hope you have you know all these things which we already studied now comes the very important thing what is called the fundamental theorem of theorem of algebra so it simply says that if you have n roots in equation sorry n degree in equation then there will be n roots of it i'm trying to say that if you have equation x to the power n plus a to the power n equal to zero then the root of this equation will be n whatever is the highest power of the equation that gives the root say for example if i write a cubic equation and if i ask you how much roots you will get from the cubic equation then your answer should be three if i ask you what will how many roots will i get from this equation so you have to tell me that the root will be 10 i will get the 10 values of x from here understood okay so this is called the fundamental theorem of algebra okay now coming to the main thing that is how to solve the quadratic equation so for solving the quadratic equation we mainly have two methods that is by factorization method and by formula method which is x is equal to minus b plus minus under root b squared minus 4ac upon 2a which you have seen so by the factorization you know what do, what do you mean by factorization method that is called splitting the middle term you split the middle term in such a way that you factorize it in the two brackets at last and you put those two brackets equal to zero to get the root of the x but this formula method is a direct method where you need to detect a b c substitute in the formula and get the two values how two values uh, for the positive case this plus case and for the negative case now i'm going to explain you that how this formula is being made what is the proof behind this formula so first of all let me give you a short introduction on this formula if anyone asks you who made this formula then the great indian mathematician that is called uh, his name uh, his name was uh, shri dharacharya so you have to remember that 
Sridharacharya ji has given this formula not the foreign mathematician if in any book it is told that it is given by such and such, such mathematician then that is wrong it is given by our india that means indian mathematician that is sridharacharya so, so we should be proud of it okay okay now here is the proof as i told you we are going to prove that formula x is equal to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac upon 2a with the general form of quadratic equation so you know the proof is really really very amazing okay amazing to solve so let us attack so uh, you have ax square plus bx plus c you know i'm going to teach you a method by which your formula method is being made and that method is called completing the square method you know if you take a uh, class 10th ncrt books uh, that means cbse board this method has been has been given a separate priority uh, as you is if you get a chance to see the book you know for solving the quadratic equation they have mentioned three methods factorization method formula method and completing the square method so this completing the square method is also there for solving the quadratic equation as we don't have studied it is not in the course but still we should know because this will help us in the 12th class you know so please be very focused with this method you know by this completing the square method only the formula method came so that is why we don't mention it in the uh, course that is we only say we have two methods factorization method and complete uh, that uh, uh, formula method okay so let let us understand so there is some criteria or there is some process of solve uh, of solving with this completing the square method so whatever i say you have to follow it okay so what uh, the completing the square method says that there should be no coefficient coefficient before x square that means this a should not be there this is the very first process of completing the square method so we have to make this x square unity so let us divide both the sides with a so a a 0 by a is what a only so as we can see that this a to a will be cancelled and you are left with x square so our first thing is completed we have made x square unity this is the first process if it is already x square then you don't need to uh, use a, then then you don't need to just divide it you can use this method in the, your question also you know if you understand it very better and if you feel comfortable with it okay so first of all we made x square unity and we got this now as the name suggests just suggests completing the square method completing the square are you are you just uh, making it out that we need to complete one square say for example if you have a square plus b square plus 2ab then we can write a plus b the whole square so we completed the square this means we completed its square so the same we have to make it here also but we only have a one square term here we don't have another square term so let us take the coefficient of x uh, okay wait just let me write this identity because we are going to use it again and again you know if you if you have a square term and if you have 2ab term we can easily find what will be our b term if i divide 2ab by uh, 2ab by 2 okay then what what we will get ha huh. so what i am saying that uh, if you have a square term if you have 2ab term can we find what will be the b term i think this questions we have done in the 9th class if you remember so we divide this 2ab by the a this is actually a the whole square and this is 2 into a into b then dash so if you divide this 2ab by this a if you divide 2ab first of all by 2 because this t 2 should be removed and this a so what we are getting we are getting b that is b square we found okay similarly 
what we are doing x square plus b upon a into x plus c upon a equal to 0. So from here can you tell me what will be the b? So we take this b upon a into x upon x or also we divide it by 2 as I have done in the method. Okay. So this x to x cancel we got b upon 2a or you can understand this as what is the coefficient of x b upon a just divide it by 2. So we got b upon 2a this is the short trick this is the process this is in the process of completing the square method. Now how this came I have explained you that how to get that b term 2ab upon a 2ab upon 2a okay. Uh, that is we got B. So that is how I have uh, uh, I have got what will be the B. What I got? B upon 2, you know? Okay. So I need to add it and subtract it with its square. I mean this. Okay. You understood. Let me repeat what I have explained till now see from here to here you have understood from here to here also you have understood now as the name suggests completing the square so we got a square we have 2ab term we don't have b term with us so we detected the b term by doing what uh, this term upon 2a term and we got b upon 2a now I cannot directly add I need to subtract also because this should be balanced so that is why adding and subtracting equal to 0 now you take this term this term and this term close I hope you are getting it because this is not a rocket science I am explaining you very easy to understand okay now can we write this as x plus b upon 2a the whole square because a square plus b square plus 2 into x into b upon 2a 2 to 2 cancelled b into x upon a I hope you have understood and to complete the square we did this much things that is how the name suggests okay take this that side so b upon 2a the whole square minus c upon a okay so x plus b upon 2a the whole square this is b square upon 4a square to me uh, just to take the lcm this uh, i need to multiply by 4a in the numerator and 4a into the denominator just to uh, make the LCM 4a square here to here okay now this is square if square will be removed under root will be there and after uh, before the under root it will we will get the two values that is plus and minus okay now take this plus of uh, b upon 2a that side so x will be equal to minus b upon 2a plus minus under root b square minus 4ac if under root 4a square if it is come if it come out from under root it will be 2a and 2a 2a like fractions so upon 2a so hence proved that x is equal to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac upon 2a. Now the main thing which you need to remember is completing the square method. Okay. Okay. So uh, as I see that all the time is consumed in understanding the proof of it which is to a uh, important thing. So as I see that the first exercise which is very easy for you because you know you have to use the method any of the method you use either factorization or formula method and you can solve those word problems in the uh, algebraic questions because they are very known to you as you have done in the 10th class so it would be very handy for you to solve it so please solve that questions okay and have the practice of quadratic equation we'll take the next topic in the next video 
if you have any doubt problem surely i am there to help you okay but as i find that you can do those questions without any any that means problem okay so please do it it would be very good if you do it okay so because you know that is my uh, the patent that you do solve the examples solve the exercise you do it okay so the same patent for you <laughs> so please do it okay thank you so much have a nice day